gaily in front of the stock whips, the horses come galloping home, leaping and bucking and playing their sides all a lather of foam, but painfully, slowly behind them with head to the crack of the fall and trying so gamely to follow, comes limping the pearl of them all. He is stumbling and stiff at his shoulders. He splints from the hoof to the knee. But never a horse on this station had half such a spirit as he. Give all these the boast of their breeding, these pets of the paddock and stall. Ten years ago not their proudest could live with the pearl of them all. No journey has ever yet beat him. No day was too heavy or hard. He was king of the camp and the muster, the pride of the wings of the yard. But time is relentless to follow, and the best of us bow to his thrall, and death with his scythe on his shoulder is dogging the pearl of them all. I watch him go whinnying past me, and memories come in a whirl of reckless wild rides with a comrade, of laughing gay rides with a girl. How she decked him with lilies and love knots and plaited his mane at my side. And once, in the grief of a parting, she threw her arms round him and cried. So I promised her, gave her my promise that night that we parted in tears to keep and be kind to the old horse till time made a burden of years. And then, for his sake and one woman's, go fetch me my gun from the wall, for I've only this kindness to offer as gift to the pearl of them all. Now hold him out there by the yard wing, and don't let him know by a sign. Turn his head away ever so gently, I can't bear his eyes to meet mine. Stand still now, old boy, for a moment, for these tears how they blind as they fall. Dear God, help my hand to be steady. Goodbye to the pearl of them all.